Clarification has been something various suggested as the speculation of the old limitless blast. Various assessments, moreover, created by a huge number of researchers, support this thought, giving affirmation about how the universe began. Anyway, the present universe of science, with new advancements, brings us novel examinations and points of view. These contemplations challenge our points of view, where sure bits of information, such as those from Neil deGrasse Tyson, have become an immense figure in this affecting universe of science. Now, something engaging is occurring with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's basic to recognize something that could make us question the speculation of the universe's beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope has tracked down 750 new universes. These systems are not exactly identical to what we anticipated, leading us to reevaluate what we thought we had some consciousness of them. This degree was supposed to help us appreciate how huge systems ended up being, so it's not dazzling that it's stirring up how we would be able to unravel the universe. Before, investigators said that the Big Bang theory was an extraordinary clarification for how the universe began. According to this theory, around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a perplexing event, like the crazy story of the universe's preamble to the world. However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope have challenged this thought. These photographs show universes that are more subtle, smoother, and older, to say the least, different than what the theory of how things came to be predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should look more noticeable the farther away they are. But these pretentious structures don't keep that rule. The theory also states that at the universe's real start, all the matter that makes up the universe was fit into a moment superdense point called a singularity. This singularity was unimaginably more hot than anything that we might truly measure or create. This thought of a singularity comes from a great deal of conditions in real science proposed by Albert Einstein, called general relativity. Inside the singularity, all the stuff in the universe was squeezed into a tiny space with very high density, meaning there was a tremendous amount of mass and energy packed into a little space. In simpler terms, experts have always said that the theory of how things came to be was the means by which the universe began. However, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that idea. The universes it found don't fit with what the theory expected. And the theory's explanation of the early universe might not be as solid as we once thought. In our continuous view of the universe, we recognize that all the energy in the universe began from an extremely hot and dense point, called a singularity. This point is like the early stage for everything we find in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe started to expand and develop over approximately 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The expansion began with something many refer to as the Great Inflation, where the universe became unfathomably quickly, a lot faster than the speed of light. It's as if the real surface of space itself was expanding, and everything in it was stretching along with it. This boundless expansion helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and creating a way for universes, stars, and other impacted plans to form. As the universe continued to develop, it didn't expand as quickly as during the Great Inflation. However, it still kept on growing. We call this consistent expansion self-important advancement. Experts have seen evidence of this increase through things like the way light from faraway universes changes in color, known as redshift. Now, let's look at those stunning pictures of new universes taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To the majority, these photos look shocking with various universes in a single frame. However, for examiners, it's somewhat of a shock. These photographs don't match what their speculations anticipated. As a matter of some importance, these universes are essentially more prepared than guessed, which challenges our point of view regarding galactic system structure and advancement. According to the theory of the ancient Big Bang, there are, furthermore, significantly more pretentious systems than we expected. The theory of the universe's beginning made guesses about how many systems there ought to be and how they ought to be fanned out. However, the JWST pictures show a gigantic number, many more universes than anticipated. This makes experts question whether the theory's estimates are accurate. Some researchers are even beginning to overcompensate a bit, considering the way these discoveries make an effort not to match their notions in any way. One more surprising piece of these new, pretentious structures is their perfection, which conflicts with what the theory of how things came to be proposes. 
According to the theory, universes ought to show irregularities and arrangements in their structures because of how they formed and developed. But photographs from the JWST show universes that are extremely smooth, without the usual complexity and violence during the progression of the universe. All that makes up our universe was fit into a tiny space. As the universe expanded and cooled, changes happened in particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons, which began to interact with light and energy around them. These interactions played a huge role in the development of matter in the universe. In the first two or three minutes after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis, which involved the creation of lightweight elements like hydrogen and helium. These elements set the stage for the formation of stars, countless systems, and more complicated elements as endless history unfolded. This combination of basic building blocks was a critical stage in the universe's development, progressing from a starting state of particles and energy to a state where matter began to form as expected. The theory of ancient cosmic explosions had expected to see universes that were disordered and chaotic. However, the JWST pictures tell a different story. Rather than tempestuous and scattered universes, the photos reveal smooth, circular, and capable winding shapes, resembling the systems we see in the current day universe. This startling discovery challenges the notion that chaos is a typical part of universe development. If there are few or no chaotic events occurring in these universes, as proposed by the theory of how things came to be, it becomes unreasonable that tiny universes could grow to become more massive. Similarly, the optical interestingness predicted by the expanding universe hypothesis, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, doesn't seem to be present in space. Experts have observed a striking pattern, where immense structures tend to cluster together in large gatherings, forming different networks across the universe. This massive scale structure lines up with the assumptions made by the theory of the universe's beginning. According to the theory, the universe began in an extremely hot and dense state and then expanded and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, gravity played a significant role in shaping how matter was distributed and in organizing universes. The gravitational effects predicted by the theory of the ancient Big Bang are consistent with what we see today, with gravity organizing matter, leading to the clustering of galactic systems and the formation of interconnected filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these system groupings and the cosmic web structure strongly supports the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. How systems are distributed across the universe aligns with the gravitational effects expected from an initial dense and expanding state, as proposed by the theory. These factors, counting the clustering of systems, the cosmic web structure, and the spreading of universe clusters, provide solid evidence that the universe evolved from an extremely dense state and has been expanding for billions of years. Now, let's return to the size of the structures found by the JWST. These photos contradict what we thought we knew about the Big Bang Theory. According to the theory, small universes should form and extend through collisions and mergers with other universes. However, the universes made by the JWST feel quite different from this idea. If galactic structures were colliding and merging as predicted, we would see evidence of these collisions or mergers. Yet, the photographs show something different. The Big Bang is too much of a hypothesis, essentially an idea without definitive proof. No, it is really supported by undeniable evidence, including views of the redshift of light. Observations from distant universes provide support for the expanding universe hypothesis. Studies showing universes increasing their distance from one another suggest the expected, consistent increase predicted by the theory. The spread of light elements like hydrogen and helium seen throughout the universe is also consistent with the theory of the universe's beginning. Additionally, the large-scale distribution of universes, as revealed through astronomical blueprints, matches the patterns expected by the Big Bang Theory. One of the main pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is weak radiation that fills the entire universe and represents the remnant glow of the Big Bang. This massive radiation, first detected in 1965, still aligns with the predictions made by the theory of the universe's beginning. The observed characteristics of the CMB, its consistency and temperature distribution, strongly support the possibility that the universe was once in a very hot and dense state before undergoing expansion, a central part of the theory of how things came to be. 
the discovery of the cosmic microwave background is a critical piece of evidence that offers us a rare glimpse into the early moments of the universe. It acts as a remnant of the first stages after the Big Bang and plays a vital role in solidifying the theory of the universe's start as our best explanation for the earliest phases of the universe's evolution. Discoveries have tested some aspects of the Big Bang theory. The existence of universes with ages that appear to begin before the Big Bang conflicts with the theory, significantly suggesting that the Big Bang may not have happened as originally thought. Furthermore, the radiation emanating from the newly discovered universe's conflicts with what was anticipated from the Big Bang hypothesis. It's in this light that many rethink the Big Bang theory, especially given the recent advancements in science provided by telescopes like James Webb. The upcoming discoveries may make it clear whether the Big Bang theory truly explains the creation of our universe or if there is a more complex story to tell. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently made waves in the scientific community, prompting a reconsideration of the long-standing Big Bang theory. For over a century, the Big Bang theory has been the dominant explanation for the origin of the universe, proposing that it began from an incredibly dense and hot singularity approximately 13.8 billion years ago. However, the data collected by JWST has sparked a series of discussions, challenges, and debates among scientists, suggesting that the universe may have evolved in ways previously unimagined. These groundbreaking findings are not only pushing the boundaries of what we know about cosmology, but are also driving the need for fresh perspectives and updated models of the universe's origin. The Big Bang Theory A Long-Held Understanding The Big Bang Theory has served as the foundation of modern cosmology since the early 20th century. It proposes that the universe began from an extremely hot, dense point, a singularity, which then expanded and cooled over time, giving rise to the vast universe we observe today. This theory is supported by various key pieces of evidence, including the discovery of cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, the redshift of distant galaxies, and the observed abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium in the universe. One of the main arguments for the Big Bang theory was the observation that distant galaxies are moving away from us, with more distant galaxies receding faster. This phenomenon, known as redshift, suggests that the universe is expanding, and if we trace this expansion backward, it implies that all matter in the universe was once compressed into a singular point. This observation, first made by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, has been a cornerstone in supporting the theory. Further, the CMB radiation, first detected by Penseus and Wilson in 1965, provided additional proof. This faint afterglow of the Big Bang was theorized to be a remnant from the early universe, providing insight into the state of the cosmos roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Despite these key pieces of evidence, the Big Bang theory has faced ongoing challenges. Many questions remained unanswered, particularly regarding the very first moments of the universe, such as what caused the Big Bang and what happened during the so-called inflationary period, when the universe expanded exponentially in a fraction of a second. These gaps in knowledge, coupled with the increasing sophistication of observational tools, have set the stage for new insights into the origins of the cosmos. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is a groundbreaking observatory that promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. JWST is a collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. It is positioned at the second Lagrange point, L2, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, where it can avoid the interference of Earth's atmosphere and the sun's light. This location, combined with the telescope's advanced infrared capabilities, allows it to observe distant cosmic objects that were previously beyond reach. JWST is designed to look deeper into the universe than any other telescope before it, providing insights into the earliest stages of the cosmos. By capturing infrared light, it can observe objects that are too faint, distant, or obscured by cosmic dust for other telescopes, such as Hubble, to detect. This has allowed astronomers to peer into the early universe, exploring galaxies and stars that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. With JWST, scientists hope to answer key questions about galaxy formation, stellar evolution, and the nature of dark matter and dark energy.